At Old Man's Antiques, Lizzie dusted the lamps, the books, the clocks, and spiffily tables. She even dusted a bald spot on Grandpa's head as he snoozed in the Lewis 16 set. The tiny bell over the door tinkled as the woman breezed in. Her pink sto stole and suit matched the manicure poodle and her miniature poodle in her arms. Lizzie had never seen anyone with, with hair so tall. The woman peered at Lizzie through his rhinestone glasses. You seem quite young to be running such an establishment. I'm watching the store until my mother comes back. After all, she was quite capable of running such an establishment establishment for 10 minutes anyway. I'm Mrs. Bradley Lack Vermont the third and this is Gazelle. <laughs> yep, yep. If you don't mind I'd like to browse. Lizzie certainly did not mind. That's all anyone ever did at Old Man's Antiques. Miss L inspected each item with a gloved hand. I'll take this and this. I certainly can't live without this. She glanced down at the Lewis 16. Oh my stars, look at this. I've never seen one for sale. How much? Lizzie checked the price tag. Teeth? He's not, yes, he's not wearing any. The setting. No, I have a dozen of those at home already. How much for this charming empty? But he's my grandpa. In that case, you must, know, you must know how much he's worth. But he's not for sale. Nonsense, my dear. Everyone has a price. I'll give you $500 for him. $500? For $500, Lizzie could buy a treehouse she'd always wanted. She could start her own club and be president. She was, she'd be the most popular girl in the neighborhood. Achoo! But what good would the treehouse be without Grandpa to help her build it? No, thank you. I... I can't take $500 on my grandpa. Yep, yep. Okay, $1,000. $1,000? With that much money, Lizzie could buy a small boat and sail out on the lake with any time anytime she wanted. She could lay back and float lazily along or look for the mysterious monster that lurked in, on the bottom. But what good would the boat be without Grandpa to steer and fish and sing sailor songs? Sorry, no. So you want to bargain, do you? Yep, yep. Very well. Five thousand dollars. Wow. Lizzie pictured herself with her own very own lavender green <coughs> bedroom set. The lace curtains would match the ruffled canopy on the bed she'd seen in her very own dressing table. To sleep on that in that room would be like a dreaming on a fluffy marshmallow. But what good would the, a fancy bedroom be without Grandpa there to tuck her in and tell her bedtime stories? No deal. Ten thousand. Yep, yep. Ten thousand dollars wouldn't that wouldn't that be an, an wouldn't that buy an entire ice cream shop for every frozen flavor ever invented? Was and sprinkles and chocolate chips and hot fudge. Lizzie could have an ice cream shop with lots of customers who actually buy something. Selling ice cream would certainly be more fun than dusting antiques. But how much fun would it be without Grandpa there to make super duper tre tremendous super Super done just ice cream Sunday deluxe. Lizzie shook her head. No. No? Oh, girl. <laughs> $50,000. That's my final offer. Lizzie's knees wobbled. She felt woozy. With that much, she could build an amusement park with loopiest roller, roller coasters ever. Her and her friends could ride for free anytime they wanted. Lizzie dwelled on her vision for a full minute. But what good would a music party be there without Grandpa there to scream the loudest? Miss L, not everything has a price, and not everything is for sale. Well, if I can't buy everything I want, then I won't buy anything at all. Yep, yep. And she swept out the door. 
In a furious huff, Lizzie kissed Grandpa gently and walked over to the cash register, smiling. She pushed the big red button. Ding! No sale. The end.